a sexless relationship. Why it's happening, likely, why it won't work, and what to do about it. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let's break it down. Okay, so if you have been consuming pornography frequently, consistently, with increasing intensity for sure, and if you've been doing that for a long time, it is in fact showing up in your sexual behaviors, which means it's showing up sexually in your relationship. So why your relationship may turn sexless is because a healthy woman does not want to be treated like an object. And this goes for all partners, but I'm going to keep it at men mostly consume pornography and women are mostly partners. But of course, it goes for everybody. But now this is what happens is if you are objectifying women on the screen and you're doing that frequently and consistently and you're looking at people's bodies, using them for objects of dopamine release to take away pain and to give you seeming pleasure, what happens is that falls out in how you interact with your partner, except for we know from the science that it won't match up to the amounts of dopamine that you're getting from the screen and from masturbation. So now it is a secondhand experience, which is being felt by your partner when you are interacting with them. And secondly, what happens so often is that what you see on the screen is what you want to happen when you are interacting with your partner, but it's not. So you may try to get it to happen. And it's the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And honestly, this is part of recovery too, is backing this whole thing out. But while you're with your partner, you're trying to get what you want and what you usually get from the screen. But then you'll try to come back and actually be present mentally with your partner, but then you'll kind of go back to the fantasy and what you really want because that's what your brain is conditioned to need to be able to become the most aroused. So you need intensity to be able to get to where you want to go. This is all being felt by your partner. So your partner knows something's up. They may not know what's up, but they definitely know that something is up. And the longer you consume pornography, the more frequently, the more consistently, and definitely with the more intensity, it will begin to show up. So then what happens is your partner doesn't want to be with you because it's just not that fun and engaging. Because if your partner is healthy, and remember it goes back to if your partner is healthy, and if your partner is healthy, they are looking for an experience, not a performance. They want an experience with you that's a whole person experience, mind, body, and spirit. And what they want is some intensity, some eroticism, tapping into that animal nature in a private way with just you because you're their private person that they have sexual experiences with. That's not the same for you. You're watching tons of sexual experiences of random people you don't know. So your perception of sexual interactions is very different from your partner. Your partner wants to be with you in a whole person experience. Intensity, eroticism, intimacy, love, being connected. So that's a very different perception of you and your partner. So then when your partner doesn't get any of that or is only getting it fleetingly back and forth between fantasy and you trying to be with your partner, it becomes work for your partner to be with you. So if this is you, I want you to know that you can back that out. If you want to be in a relationship that is a healthy sexual relationship, it can be done. So what I want you to know and what I want you to think about is your relationship when you met what was your sexual relationship like? And I talk to a lot of people and honestly, they're a little disgruntled because they think that their wives just aren't pleasing them anymore. They don't understand they are part of the problem because of pornography. They think their wives are just holding out. And that's not the case most times. Most times the case is they want to be with you, but they can't because the being with you isn't what it used to be. So you know how you might be thinking that being with them isn't fun anymore, they think the same thing because they're being objectified. 
So that's why a sexless relationship works. Now, will a sexless relationship work over time? No, absolutely not. This is number two. Why? Because we're sexual beings. Human beings are sexual beings. They want to be with another person and connect in that way. And it's part of healthy intimacy and it's part of a healthy relationship. So if you can't have that in your relationship, once you've repaired the healthy sexuality or unhealthy sexuality you have going, which is addictive sexuality, hypersexuality, when you repair it as best as you can over some amount of time, usually when you repair it, then you can get back to having a healthy sexual relationship unless it's it's too far gone and you don't have the skills to be able to do that. But I'm here to tell you that going back to the screen for the rest of your life, first of all, it's going to give you mental, physical, cognitive, and emotional problems. We know that. It's what it creates. And going back to the screen for the rest of your life, it's not necessary. But so you have to do the work here. This is number three. How do you get back to a, an engaged and fulfilled sexual relationship with your partner you talk to your partner so if you don't want to talk to your partner about pornography consumption you can definitely talk to your partner about what you would like to see happen within your sexual relationship and i've made a couple videos on this in terms of arousal templates and what we what you can agree with your partner to keep in the sexual garden as you're learning to have healthy sexuality that's balanced and it's balanced in the experience not the performance and it's also balanced in the neurotransmitter release so your brain tip for today is talk to your partner about sex don't assume they don't want to be with you but understand if they don't want to be with you that it's likely part of this situation that is caused by pornography consumption. They might want to be with you in a way that they used to be able to be with you, but that has changed. Food for thought there, because most times, most partners want to be with their partner, but it's become so distorted that it's not the same and it's not fun, it's not engaging. It's a lot of work and it feels bad. It feels yucky at the end because they feel used because in fact, you're likely using your partner as an object of fantasy. Okay, so go think about that and talk to your partner. Tell them that you would like to be with them in that balanced way. Find out what would be good for them to stay in the arousal template. Tell them what you would like in the arousal template. Get on the same board in terms of communication and then go do it. Go try it. It might not be easy if your brain's stuck in this addictive hypersexual mode where it wants to go back to all the stuff that it's been seeing on the screen that is not real healthy sexuality. So you have to go back to give it a whirl and try to have the experience and not worry about the performance. Okay, if you want help on the road to creating healthy sexuality as you leave pornography behind, please go to my website at drtrishley.com. Hit the tab that says Porn Brain Reboot because I would love to help you. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.